Yeah. California so far? Uh, not particularly, no. Uh, I'm a Dublin man. I love my hometown. But, uh, Long way from home. Yeah, you know, uh, I'm, I'm over here... I'm over here conducting business, you know, and, and I don't really care about anything else, so... Uh, you know, I, I don't, don't, I'm just doing my, I'm just being myself, I, I, this is who I am, I like to look good and whoop ass, it's what I do best. You know, I, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be nobody but me, you know, uh, September 27th, I'm going to uh, rip Dustin's head clean off, you know, it, ma it makes no difference about nothing, Dustin little pea head, Dustin thinks it's all talk. Dustin thinks it's all talk, but when he wakes up with his nose plastered on the other side of his face, he's gonna know it's not all talk. Hey, Dustin, Dustin, is, is, this your, is this your toughest test today? You fought some of the best fighters in the division, but is this your toughest test today? Man, to tell you the honest truth, I fought tougher guys, and uh, if Connor could fight half as good as he can speak, you know, I think it would be. Thank you, guys. You know, look. All you gotta do is look at Dustin's last couple of fights, you know. The last contest he had, he fought a tough reject, an ultimate fighter reject, and nobody gave a shit about it. And he got wobbled about 40 times. His chin, his chin is deteriorating. Every single contest he gets in, he hits one knee. He does a gust of wind and he does the chicken dance, you know what I mean? Coming up against me, that's not gonna be good. You know, I'm gonna crack him with a jab and, I, and he's gonna wobble and I'm gonna put him away early. It's gonna be a first round KO, mark my words. As a fighter, do you think this fight is key to getting all the things you want as a fighter? Yeah, you know, uh, I need a guy like Connor, you know, somebody who, who hypes the fight and, and makes people want to see it, and then I go out there and beat him. You know, this is perfect timing for me in my career. Um, you know, I'm mentally focused and ready. Uh, it's just the perfect timing, you know. I'm really coming along as a fighter, and I feel like I'm hitting my stride right now, and it couldn't be better. You get wobbled in every fight, Dustin. <laughs> every fight. You get dropped to one knee in every fight. Yeah, I mean, every, every single fight you get dropped in one knee. No, no. Every single fight. Diego no. dropped you, Akira dropped you. They all dropped you, Dustin. Come on, I'm gonna hurt you back. Diego, man. Diego got me off balance. Akira got me with a I good shot, I'll be honest. Yeah, I was being over aggressive. But this fight, I'm gonna be cool, calm, and calculated. I'm gonna take you out, man. Uh, and for the notorious uh, Connor, uh, you're now in the top 10, congratulations. Uh, a guy ranked beneath you, his name is Dennis Siver, who recently failed a drug test after his last fight. He says, as long as you are in the top 10, you can get big fights anytime. Some uh, popular guy only needs to get injured, and there you are. I need to concentrate on defending my spot. Now, first and foremost, some guys I don't agree with uh, made it to the top 10 lately. Conor McGregor, for example. He ranks one spot above me now, even though him and his last opponent didn't even have a spot in the top 10 before. Do you have any thoughts on Dennis Siver? Um, my thoughts on Dennis Siever is he's a midget German steroid head. That's my, that's my thoughts on him, so I don't have any thoughts other than that. But if you think, you said congratulations, I'm now number nine. If you think I celebrate number nine, you're highly mistaken, my friend. I don't give a shit about rankings. As far as I'm concerned, I'm number one. And when Dustin's head clatters off that canvas, they'll, they'll realize, they'll realize pretty soon. What weaknesses do you see? Uh, you know, Connor's a good athlete. Um, he's quick, he's a good counterpuncher, but uh, he has a lack of experience of, of fighting real fighters like myself. And, uh, you know, that's gonna be on full display September 27th. I'm, I'm, I'm prepared and I'm ready, man. And he's never faced anybody like me. I, I, uh, I perform on a different frequency than, than, than he's used to. Connor? Um, his weaknesses, obviously his chin, you know, it, it, it's... I, look, don't get me wrong, I like the kid. He's a quiet little hillbilly from the back ass of nowhere. You know, I have nothing against the guy, you know what I mean? I'm sure he grew up in, in, a, in, a, in a circus or a fair, you know, he's a nice little kid. He, so, Cletus, or, you know, his cousin's probably named Cletus or something. I don't know, he's a nice kid. But his chin is gonna be, his chin is gonna be cracked, and it's gonna be cracked early. And I don't hit like these people. He talking, I haven't got experience at, at, at the top level, you know. He's, he main evented one, one UFC event and lost. I main evented my hometown, and it was one of the best UFC events in history, and I, and I stopped the guy inside one round. So, you know, I'm, I'm experienced there. Uh, uh, he, will, he will know pretty, pretty early that, uh, that he's in over his head. He'll wake up and he'll bow before me. This fight going, I mean, with your opponent. Who wants to start? Justin, go for it. Ah, uh, for me, man, uh, you know, it, it, that's, a, that's something that happens every night, every day, and uh, every time it's different, you know. Sometimes on the feet, sometimes it's a mission, but, but in the end, my hand's raised every time. And I'm 100% confident in that, you know. 
Um, you know, he doesn't have a he doesn't have a vision of what's going to happen, as you can clearly see. Uh, yeah, throughout training camp, you definitely have shots that you see that you feel cracking. You know, you f you feel them shots happen. You know, um, but this is this is trust me, this is a first round KO for me. I have no doubt in my mind. His his toes will curl, and I will celebrate. Confidence come from the, your wardrobe. It's amazing, by the way. I love it. Thank you so much. Um, you know, I, it, it, I don't know. I just. Who doesn't like to wear a suit? This is a big event, you know. If you give me a pre if you give me half a chance to wear a suit, I'm gonna come in with a custom-made suit from scratch, straight from the fabric, fitted perfectly on my uh, fantastic physique. Well, I, I don't know. My my confidence comes from my uh, my performance, my work in the gym, my work ethic. You know, they don't work harder than me, and they don't want it like I want it. You know, so my, my confidence comes from looking around at the division. I don't see anything in the division that troubles me. Not one of them. They don't move like I move. They don't think like I think, and they don't talk like I talk. That's I ha that's my confidence. What do you think about uh, the way I'm dressed? You look all right. If, if I'm being perfectly honest, the, the green shirt with the gray suit—it's it's a weird kind of combination. Uh, the suit, the suit doesn't get work, and then, yeah. Dapper scrap. Thank you, I appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Hey, you asked. Yeah. One more question from the media. Don't do that again. You need to burn no. that shirt right now. <laughs> you look Does it not look, is it not a bit weird, the gray suit with the it's, green shirt? It's pitiful. Blue exactly, it's, it's weird. You know what I mean? Who did, was that your idea? And you sat in the front row with that bull. <laughs> okay.